In this video, I am going to set up the environment for running our code. Okay, so let me first write down Google Colab. So we are going to use a Google for Colab for running all our code. Just choose the first one. And now you need to sign in with your account. So your Google account you need to use for signing in process. Okay. So your account is ready. Now you are going to get this kind of a video when you start. So you just cancel this first. Okay. It's not required. Let me announce this. Okay. So what is there inside this? So your account is ready. Whatever you do, it will be stored to your uh, Google account. Okay. The first part which we are going to use is uh, go to the file. Upload notebook. Choose file. Now you need to choose the file which I have provided in the support file. So suppose uh, I'm right now choosing from computer itself. So you might have this in the download also. Suppose these files are provided to you in the support file, like a Python crash course files. So suppose this program part one I have selected. This is the IPython file I'm going to choose. Okay. So uh, I'll, I'll show you that step one more time. Very simple. Uh, you may kept that file inside uh, some other place also. So that will be, might be in your download section. So go to the file, upload file, choose file. You need to choose IPython file. Okay. So this file I have provided to you in the support file section. So suppose I uh, choose this file and your file is ready. You can start using that. Okay, now why Google Colab? Because the machine learning algorithm requires a good setup of a computer. And if you don't have a good setup of a computer, it is very difficult to run the machine learning codes. Okay, or a data science examples. So it is better to go for a Google Colab. You, it is, it is similar as a Jupyter notebook itself. Okay, just go and to the uh, connect section and just press connect and start running your code. So first. Press this, so your code is going to start run. It initial stage when it is not connected, it is takes some time. Then it is very simple to run. You can see, just press this and your code is ready. Okay, so what is more uh, options are there? So first you can download this file again into IPython file or .py file. You can choose a new book to work. You just choose a new book, a blank notebook will be provided where you can write your own code and start working on that okay so blank notebook is ready for you a equal to four uh, a equal to one just press connect and your work will be started okay great you will just go to the file and suppose you have uploaded previously you can just go to the open notebook and choose the file like i, I can choose the file called as suppose uh, this lnp natural language processing so your blank is ready. You can just press code plus. Okay. So A, what is the value of A you choose? And that is it. That is one. Suppose you want to add up this some text. Press text plus. Add a comment like this. Okay. Welcome. And just go to the next one. Your welcome is ready. So you can add your text over here also. Suppose you want a GPU. You just go to runtime, uh, change runtime types, go to the GPU, and your GPU is being allocated by the Google server. Very simple to use. Why I always recommend uh, to go for a Google Colab? Because uh, you can open this Google Colab in the mobile itself, and uh, you can code in the mobile. Tablet, laptop, desktop, everywhere. No installation is required. So you can save yourself from a tedious installation process. That is what one thing I like. You can just go to edit and clear all the outputs. There are some other options also. Copy paste the selection. I want you to check out or maximum. Or you can run all the commands together. Okay. You can just uh, restart your runtime. Okay. It will be restarting. Okay, great. So very simple to use, very simple to use and very effective. It's an actual gift from Google to us for a data science and a machine learning 
people who actually work or uh, this actual gift for us okay so uh, a heavy to heavy python code can be uh, run over this i hope uh, you understood how to take up the file this is a very simple process the file which i provided called as basically dot ipynb file in the course okay you just go to, you just need to see my video go to the file upload the file choose the file take up the file open the file and whatever shown in the video you just need to repeat that here just run the code and see what is happening just run the code and see what is happening okay very simple uh, way i have designed this course and it's a very good setup to work along no pre installation is required no error will going to come for sure if you are synthetically correct uh, i hope use of a google collab is very much clear to you stay tuned thank you very much